Hi, it's Matt. Welcome to week 42 of holding ALPP, also known as Alpine 4 Holdings. Uh, yeah, week 42 of this YOLO challenge for trade number five. So if you're new to the channel, I've been trying to turn $1,000 into 1 million through a series of trades compounding at 10%. So on paper, this should take uh, 73 trades, uh, 70, 73 consecutive trades, uh, and it should net me just over 1 million. But of course, it doesn't really work like that. It was not that easy. But uh, the first four trades were successful. Uh, and yeah, now I'm with ALPP in week 42. So just an update really on any news. And there's one thing which is kind of good. Uh, and, but of course, the market's not in the best place right now. I don't know if anyone UK based has, has any any like view on the S&P 500 because it's trading at the moment. And yeah, it dropped 2.5%. So mega correction going on and, te and this kind of month as well as loads of like people selling off for tax purposes. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> sorry. So the news really to mention, uh, Alpine 4 have uh, announced one of the two acquisitions they're going to do before the end of the year. And they, uh, they acquired, uh, it was called Elec Jet. So this is a like a battery company really, uh, first and foremost. So they deal with lithium batteries and graphene. Uh, graphene's unusual really because most people just deal with uh, the lithium side of things and they're just utilizing this graphene and they're, they're quite established it seems. They sell, looking online, they sell power banks already and stuff like that. Uh, and they have a few things under their belt. So I think they have a an electric scooter motorbike as they say, and it says it charges fully within 17 minutes, which is really impressive. And the batteries in general charge really fast and uh, and have really high capacity. <clears throat> so this is good for Alpine because it's uh, they're just trying to build this vertical up kind of like uh, business. So you can see how this ties into all the other kind of things they own. So the drones is the biggest thing, I guess. And if they're building batteries themselves within America, not relying on China so much and stuff like that, they can use their own products they've been building and using in their other products. So I think they've got a sheet metal thing as well. And there's, there's a whole list of things. You can see like all these companies they've been acquiring of kind of like this umbrella putting everything under one roof kind of thing. So I think this is a good acquisition. Uh, I've not had a look, look at the financials or anything, but from the, the media stuff they've released and uh, it seems pretty good. But of course, the I think it was announced two days ago this, and the stock is currently sitting at $2.34 here. Uh, so yesterday is just 0.85% down. But yeah, it's a long way off from the $4 it was a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, just keeps going down, down, down. But we'll see. Maybe it just takes... Let's see what this last uh, acquisition is going to be for the year. I'm hope, I'm kind of hoping that like, this is the last one and they kind of concentrate more on like making more profits uh, rather than just spending loads of money on acquisitions. As they, they do sound good on paper, but... Uh, for overall like profits and revenue kind of thing, it's not 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 the best, but it's all setting it up like for the big the big thing. Uh, yeah, so nothing else really else to say about this week. Uh, I'll update again next week. Probably will be holding this. I don't see it going all the way up to ten dollars or anything in this time, unless the unless the second acquisition is like Rivian or something, or they have some sort of partnership with them. So yeah, uh, I'll update again in a week's time. Take care. Bye.